Hi everyone, so this is the most exciting part of Best Products 2011 in my opinion because this is the make position and funnily enough I have got quite a lot of products um, I've kind of organised them all in this container and I'm going to talk you through them so I'm going to start with my top primer for the year my top pick for primer would have to be the Smashbox Photo Finish Oil Free Primer um, the reason I chose this is just because it really, really helps give your foundation that little bit of extra mileage and um, it is very silicone based so if you don't like silicone products this might not be the right one for you but I really, really like it and um, a little goes a long way and it really, really helps to kind of give you a perfect smooth surface and fills in your pores. So that's my top pick for primer of the year. Then I've got something that probably shouldn't be in makeup, this probably should have been in skincare but... Um, it's my favourite lip balm of the year and this is essential for me because I get very dry lips and I always apply lip balm before I apply lipstick and it's the NOX lip balm and it's just called the Rev de Mille I don't know, it's in French, I won't attempt to butcher that but this is what it looks like and it's just a very hard consistency quite lemony and um, it really really helps get rid of chapped lips so that's my favourite favourite lip balm especially around this time of year when it gets a little bit colder and you need that little bit of extra um, extra kind of nourishment to your lips so that's my top lip balm now we're going to go with foundations I've picked three and my first one I think was probably in my last year's video and that is NARS Sheer Glow. This is in shade Barcelona which is a little bit dark for me at the moment. All my foundations are a little dark for me at the moment. But um, yeah, this is in Barcelona and this is just a really nice foundation for every day. Very, very buildable, very liquid, very natural looking. It's one of the most natural foundations I've come across and the colour range is great if you have yellowy toned skin. So NARS Sheer Glow is one of my foundation picks. Next is MAC Face and Body. The reason I chose this is because this gives your skin a really beautiful luminosity and makes you look like you've just got really healthy glowing skin even on a bad skin day. It hasn't got much coverage but it is buildable. Um, I think it's good value for money because you do get a lot of product whereas this is 30 mils of product, this is 120 and um, you get a lot of product and it just looks really nice on the skin and very dewy so it's good if you don't like much coverage and if you like um, a very natural look. This is a really nice option. And last but not least, we have the number no. 7 Beautifully Matte Foundation, which is so much darker than I am at the moment. But this is a really nice everyday, kind of dependable foundation that lasts well, stays quite matte, has really good coverage, quite inexpensive. Um, the only thing I would say is the shade range isn't perfect, but apart from that, this is a really, really nice foundation. Then we'll do concealer. I've got two here. And my first one is the Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer. This is in medium. And um, again, this has amazing, amazing coverage. Like, I'll show you a little bit on my hands, actually. So if you see right here, I've got that little mark, scar. I'm just going to put some of this on it. And obviously, this is too light for my hand. But you'll see how what just amazing amazing coverage it's got and it's very inexpensive you can buy it in boots or super drug and if you look at it there you can't see it it's a really 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 nice product and um but the shade range is a little bit inaccurate but apart from that really really good product and my favourite under eye concealer of all times is the Laura Mercier Secret Concealer. This is very, very, very expensive, but a little goes a long way. I've had it for ages and it just really neutralises any dark circles, any puffiness, and it's just absolutely amazing. And I'd never be without this. I love it. Um, my favourite powder is the Rimmel Silky Loose Face Powder because it's just the most finely milled powder. It's a great dupe for the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and um, you just don't look like you've got powdered skin, you just look like you've got kind of a matte complexion but in a really, really natural way and an unpowdered looking way so I love this one. Then for bronzer, my top bronzer of the year is 
the L'Oreal Glam Bronze Bronzer and also the Makeup Academy Bronzer in shade 03 but I couldn't find my one but the L'Oreal Bronzer looks like this, you've all seen it before, it's a very warm toned colour and um, lasts really well and it's just a really really nice bronzer then um, for blusher I've got a couple of products here the first one is this one by Topshop and this is in the shade Pop and it's a really, really pretty, fun shade, really kind of brightens up your face, and it's just a really nice, kind of cheap um, alternative. And they remind me of the sort of quality of MAC blushes, and they're all quite bright and tend to be matte, so they're really nice. Then we have, um, I'm just trying to make sure, right, my top cheapest blusher is this one by MUA Makeup Academy which is a pound and this is what it looks like this is in shade 4 and it doesn't look like it on camera but this is a really good dupe for NARS Orgasm it's kind of like a muted warm glowy pink with soft gold flecks in it and just looks really really beautiful on the cheeks and it's a pound available at Superdrug then um, the Bourgeois blusher in number 16 Rose which looks like this, just a kind of very pretty colour that lifts you up, looks very natural and um, isn't too pigmented if you're just starting out with makeup, these are a good option because they're not overly pigmented so you don't get really strong blusher. Then one of my all time favourites is this blush by Me 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 in Coral and this is a perfect dupe for Benefits Coralista and this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous colour and really, really just really brightens up your face and makes you look really healthy and glowy and works on lots of different complexions so I love that one then we have um, highlighter so my favourite liquid highlighter is Benefit High Beam because it just makes you look like you've got the most polished complexion and my favourite powder highlighter is this one by Sue Moxley in shade for Bale and if you can see it's just got gold veining running through it, it's a beautiful champagne colour. I'll swatch it here for you. That's just what it looks like and um, it just gives a really beautiful sheen. It's not very pigmented, it's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colour and um, it really gives a lovely sheen. It makes it look like it's a lot darker than it is with this lighting for some reason but it's not it actually has really really beautiful um, soft gold shimmer in it and it just looks really gentle and sort of like candle lit lighting then we'll do eyes so my favourite eyeshadow primer this won't come as a shock to you is MAC Paint Pots and my favourite one is Best Study just a beautiful shimmery champagne colour works amazingly well on all different eye colours and makes your eyeshadow last for ages then my favourite brow colour is this Benefits Princess Matte Brown Shadow, this one right here, the perfect brow shadow for darker brows. Then my two picks for mascara, we've got L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes and Benefits Their Real Mascara. This is absolutely amazing, gives you false looking lashes. This is nice but doesn't really give you the most amazing, amazing lashes. It's just a good kind of staple mascara. But these are my top picks. Then we also have um, my top um, brow setter. is the Makeup Academy Clear Brow Gel. Well, it's not. It's a clear mascara, but I use it just through my brows, and it works amazingly, and it's, again, a pound. Then the Urban Decay Naked Palette, and I'm really excited about the launch of the Naked Palette 2, but um, this Naked Palette is just a great, great buy for all you neutral lovers. Just perfect shades, really, really great. Um, they are a little bit shimmery, and there is a little bit of fallout, but it's a great, great palette, and if you're only going to have one thing, this would be it. It's amazing. Then a couple more eyeshadows that I really love. We've got... Um, Woodwinked by MAC, which is this one down here, beautiful colour. Antiqued by MAC is beautiful on your lower lash line. And Sable, right here, is the most gorgeous colour on brownie green eyes. So those are my top kind of MAC eyeshadow picks. 
Then we have um, my top eyeliner, and that is M Benefits Eye Bright. And I use this for a few different things. I use it to highlight under my brow bone, on my cupid's bow, and also in the inner rim of my eye. And it really helps brighten up your eye and last a really long time on the skin. Then lip products. We've got a lot of these. My top lip liner is Number 7's um, Perfect Lip Pencil in 20 Nude. And this is just a really good lip liner, really precise, really good shape. It's not one that you have to sharpen, it's one that you sort of twist out. And it looks quite dark here, but it's not. It just looks really beautiful on. And that's the colour of it. Then my top um, lip gloss, and I've only got one, is Revlon's Coral Reef, which I'm wearing on my lips right now. This is my absolute favourite, favourite ever lip gloss. Gorgeous, creamy formulation, beautiful pigment, and it's just the most gorgeous lip gloss ever. Then, um, my favourite lipstick line of the year has been the number 17 um, Mirror Shine lipsticks, and this is the three that I love the most. So, we've got Beehive, which is this beautiful kind of nudie baby pink. Um, Belle, which is a darker kind of your lips but better colour. And um, Nudist Peach, which is just a lovely nude colour. And these are just amazingly formulated, really creamy and glossy and just look amazing on the lips. And really, really inexpensive and um, just the nicest, nicest lip products. Then we have a, another lipstick by Rimmel. This is my favourite nude and it is Spotlight Beige. And this is what it looks like. I've nearly finished it but it's just the perfect nude if you've got darker lips. It's a great, great colour and um, the kind of coverage of it is really nice for a nude if you know what I mean. Then a couple of MAC lipsticks that I like, um, that I've really enjoyed this year. We have Angel which is this gorgeous kind of frosty pink colour. Looks great with a smoky eye. Then we have Ravishing, which I love. It's just a beautiful coral colour. Really, really nice formula. I think it's a cream sheen. Yeah, cream sheen by MAC. Great formulas. And um, Vegas Vault, which is this bright, lovely um, kind of reddish coral. And this looks really beautiful in the summertime. So I love that one too. Then we've got two more quite unusual lip products. The first one is this lip pencil by Topshop and it's called Lipstick and it's in the shade Koi and it's this kind of bright pink colour and um, it's just a kind of creamy consistency, quite bright but just a really lovely, lovely bright pop of colour and it's a nice formula because it's not sticky and it's not matte, it's somewhere in between. And last but not least, we have the Collection 2000 Cream Puff um, Lip, well, I don't know what you'd call it really, Lip Cream. And um, I did a blog post about this, I'll link it in the description box, but it's just a kind of tinted lip cream that looks really beautiful on your lips. You kind of apply it and then smudge it out with your fingers, and it just looks really, really beautiful and really moisturising, and you can use it on your cheeks as well. And it's just a really lovely product, really inexpensive. Just great. So those are my top picks of makeup for 2011. Um, can't wait to see what new products 2012 will bring and what things I'll be loving at the end of that year. But as always, um, if there's anything you want to know, pop it in the comments below and to let me know what your favourite products of the year have been. Um, Definitely what your favourite foundation has been, actually. That's the thing I'm liking, really, at the moment. So your top foundation pick of the year. And I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you all soon. Bye.